guys, thanks for tuning into Beanie TV. This is your girl Beanie. Welcome to my channel where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So, in times like these, it is very, very important to stay present, to stay deeply rooted in your faith, to know what is what is fact just news that they want you to watch you know like doing certain things on television to make you tune in and to view it and watch it because like a lot of us are not used to this type of violence and bloodshed um in our generation you know is is very important that we don't keep looking at the same images over and over again and we don't keep feeding into the evilness that is going on you know um when everything first happened when when both of the men were were killed and murdered i was like no no and then i just like could not move i i have not watched the video of sterling's at all i have not watched it i refuse to watch it because it's not a video game this is this is not a movie this is a human being who was murdered on tape i that doesn't feel right to me to watch but i did watch the philando castile video and my mind can't wrap around how a human being goes and reaches for their license and then they get killed doesn't make sense and i was praying i was like god give us understanding give me understanding because i need to know because at the end of the day god does all things for our good so god what are you doing because i need to know what how how were we supposed to move in this time because the for me when i was little i grew up with the um amadou diallo case and it really hit home for my family because he was also african and this guy didn't do nothing to nobody but the way that the police brutalized and and molested him even when I was little, I was like, oh, this ain't right. And then as I've grown up, now I experienced Trayvon Martin and Tamir Rice and Sandra Bland. And the one that hurt me the most was Tamir Rice because he was 12. And that kind of showed you the consciousness of the people that you're dealing with, that they couldn't see that this was a child. They just saw this as dangerous. They saw this, this human body as dangerous and that's hurtful because i have a brother and my brother the police have been called on my brother a few times because of our neighbors seeing this black body and automatically thinking it's dangerous i thank god that the police came to my house took one look at my tall like geeky brother and was like oh no you don't look like a bad kid like I don't know why they keep calling the police on you but we gonna leave you alone and I thank God for that because it could have been another way um, in times like these it is so important to stay off of social media for more than you have to be on because at the end of the day it's still an energy it's still a frequency you got to keep your vibes high so that you can understand what's going on is so that you can understand how you can help by constantly watching the news by constantly being on social media by constantly just looking at all this stuff nothing wrong with getting the news nothing wrong with getting your facts get your facts and go and then like a lot of us have been saying on social media go outside go outside and 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 release yourself from that bubble of evilness and bubble of low frequency and 
so what I was saying was like the day after I was like God you got to give me understanding you got to give me understanding because I need to know what you're doing so as I was waking up I heard Jeremiah the book of Jeremiah Jeremiah 119 they will fight you but they will fail for I am with you and I will take care of you I the Lord have spoken my favorite parts of the Bible are when God, the creator, the provider is speaking and God is telling us like he's going to fight with us. You know, he's going to fight with us. He is going to he's going to make his way be known. This is what God showed me when I asked for understanding about what the heck is going on. Like after Orlando and then these two young men were killed for no reason and then you have the one teenager who got killed here in California and then you have all these these cops that were shot and some killed and I'm just like but God says I will show them my power out now I will show them my might at last they will know and understand that I am the Lord things like this happen I believe truly believe because people think that shit is good nothing's going on nothing is going on at home here in our country so we ain't got nothing to worry about but things like this happen because god wants to turn us up you know turn up the consciousness and wake up because we be in slumber you know what i mean like we're just walking with the fog over our eyes and we need to wake up okay we need to wake up we need to use all of our all of our power our gifts to to change the world and uplift the world and i really believe that it's my generation and the generation beneath me that is going to do that and i'm still trying to figure out what i can do i'm still trying to figure it out but i'm gonna do what i'm already doing i'm gonna keep putting positive content content out there i'm gonna keep doing what i do on twitter and instagram and And, and, and if anyone of another race um, comes to me and has a conversation, I haven't had a conversation with a person of another race about what's going on at all, but please trust and believe if the conversation comes up, they will be educated because that is how you lift up consciousness is educating someone, educating someone and letting them understand what's going on. You, and, and on Sunday, the pastor was like, you can't be mad at somebody for not understanding what they've never known just because you've known it all your life like you can't be mad at a person of a person who's not of color to not understand the difference between black lives matter and all lives matter because they've never had to deal with racism so the pastor was just like be patient and i'm saying the same thing too like be patient and understanding and letting god show you give you clarity and understanding about what is going on and this also stood out to me again we're still in jeremiah jeremiah 17 5 and it says cursed are those who put their trust in mere humans who rely on human strength now that's really important to me and it if it, it it woke something up in me because we've been doing the protests we've been writing the congressman we've been supporting black businesses we've been loving ourselves and things are still happening so now we can't rely on these lawmakers who are the descendants of slave masters to change the law for us today it's not that's not how it's gonna happen we can't rely on what we've been doing we've been protesting for how many decades protesting for how many decades you know and now we really just gotta ask we got to lift up spiritually and ask the spiritual realm, what do you want us to do? Because we've been doing things our own way and it has not been working. So I ask you to pray, put prayer with your actions and, and get a true vision, get clarity, get understanding. But I ask you to pray and ask what personally god do you need me to do during this time and it can be a tweet it can be an instagram post because at the end of the day we're all connected so if somebody sees your instagram post and your tweet and feels lifted up then you've done your work you've done your job you've allowed the holy spirit to work through you to reach to that other person so ask 
ask God, what do you need from me during this time? What gifts and talents can I give to to assist in lifting up the consciousness of this this nation, lifting up the consciousness of this world and let us continue to just like pray and send love to the families and the children that won't have their dads who won't have their aunts or uncles or whatever like let's seriously pray into that and i just ask you guys to just keep your mind in high vibrations keep doing things that are gonna help you feel good get your facts get your news and then get off whatever you're like turn the tv off to like turn your phone off and um just get get right with the spirit and get right with god and just just pray into these times because something is happening you know like god doesn't just do crazy things like this for it to continue god is waking us up right god is waking us up and what is going to happen after this is going to be so amazing and so mind-blowing because we've decided to stop leaning on our own strength and lean on his strength. The last thing, again, we still in Jeremiah 9.24, when we little down, and it says, They that, that they truly know me and understand that I am the Lord who demonstrates unfailing love and who brings justice and righteousness to the earth and that I delight in these things. God is going to bring justice. God is going to bring righteousness. God is going to bring unfailing love. Do not trust in these mere humans. Don't be trusting in them. God is going to bring the true and ultimate justice. And not just justice for the families. Generational justice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Generational justice. Justice for the nation so that this nation can can bring justice to the rest of the world trust god know god believe in god pray 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 that's what i'm gonna say pray 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 we're gonna see some amazing amazing things we're gonna we lean on god and we're gonna see some amazing things in this nation i i am truly believing that truly truly believing that um let's start a conversation down below let's start a conversation what are some actions you can take what are things that you can do to allow yourself to stay in high high frequency and and not be succumbed by all the evilness going around leave comments below be sure to subscribe and just be patient be light be understanding receive clarity and i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next video